I will show you in this video how you can stream to YouTube with OBS. So let's jump right in this video now without wasting any seconds. So first, uh, there's actually a requirement or there's something that you need to do if you have, you just created a brand new YouTube account. So here I have a brand new YouTube, YouTube account. And if I go here to create, and then go live, you're gonna see here that I have to request access to streaming. So in one request, it may take up to 24 hours to get access to your live, uh, to live streaming. So you're gonna have to click on request and then uh, to access live streaming on desktop, you're gonna have to verify your phone number. So click on verify, so you can add getting access to use this feature so make sure you're doing that and by the way if maybe you remember that you have an old account that's gonna work maybe on that where on that uh, old account you already have your you already added your name you verified your phone number so not your name you actually verify your phone number and you actually maybe already verify if not just click on verify and now let's move to the next step what you're gonna have to do is to go to settings. Let's go and hop on here on Discord. And uh, did I say on Discord? To hop on OBS and here in OBS, we can go to settings and then here in settings, we have to go to stream and make sure you click on connect account. All right. This will actually direct you to you are gonna have to choose your account or brand account. I'm gonna have to choose my brand account. Let's see if I remember my account. Uh, I think it's this one. Okay, now I'm gonna click on continue. And now let's see if it worked. So yeah, it actually worked. I'll just click on this, this is the account. And I'll click now, make sure you check this, ignore streaming services, settings, recommendations, and click on okay. Now you're gonna get this option here. I'll move this on the other side. And here you're gonna see our YouTube live control panel. Also to mention for those that are gonna stumble upon this issue, which is I've found kind of like a hard time trying to connect on Safari compared with Chrome, just so you know. Now what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to create a broadcast. And what we're doing here in OBS what we're actually creating when we're saying create a broadcast. So we are setting up the, the, the stream details before we're going live. So this involves like the key information, like the stream title, description, category, and other settings that are relevant to your video stream, to your live stream. So now let's uh, move to this part of this tutorial, creating a broadcast. Go to manage broadcast. And then here we're gonna have to enter the title of our live stream. We're gonna have here a description, you know, describe what we, we can also sell links to social media. We can also add in the title of our video something more click, not clickbaiting, but something that will attract viewers. Of course, don't clickbait, but don't, don't promise what you are trying to serve. So if you're talking about something, and it sounds like clickbait, make sure actually you deliver on your promise. In privacy here, very important. Click to pri privacy to public, not to unlisted. And here, at category, I'll select here, where is it? Education. And no, no, it's not made for kids, but if you, of course, if you're playing games, you can uh, set this to gaming. Now you can add a thumbnail from, uh, thumbnail from here. You just need to click on select file, and then you're gonna have to select the file from your computer and then here fantasy to normal and then we can click on create broadcast but i'm going to set this to private for now i'm mean, actually we're not going even if you set this to public just so you remember you create broadcast and start streaming we're not starting streaming but you know you can create now so create a new live broadcast please wait okay we're gonna have to go to settings and then here in output let's go to streaming make sure you check advanced and then here in audio encoder I'm gonna use this one it's pretty good and then here you can also choose from video encoder and if you have a Windows a graphic card make sure you choose here a graphic card because I'm on Apple 
uh, I'll choose this uh, one right over here and then here it's very important this one your bitrate now it depends on your internet connection that's my uplot speed and if you actually head over also to YouTube what it's called uh, this like choose life encoder settings uh, bit rates and resolutions YouTube help I'll leave the link in the description of this video and you'll be able to find there like some approximations for like 5 or 10 uh, megabits per second you can stream to 720p for let's say I have 10 20 megabytes per second uplot speed mine it's 164 right now and I'll change I'll add 6000 okay here and make sure you check test your internet so you are just gonna make sure everything is going to be all right you don't have any any lag or like any any problems with your connection it, it's a really it's a really important to check to see this and now we just gonna click on ok I'm just gonna click on ok now and we added our settings for our stream perfect for you go live is to actually change here in output if you don't want to use this one here that I was talking about with uh, bitrate actually increase the bitrate here and you can also use CRF and you can increase the quality to about 85 but you with this method you can't really be that really precise because you you don't really know but even if you know your internet uh, connection speed and you can check of course with speed uh, test uh, or check internet speed or test internet speed here we don't have bitrate so it's better to use actually this method here and you click on ok okay and now let's start streaming let's see if it works and here we have the just by the way here in manage broadcast we also have select existing broadcast so you can select from other existing broadcast right so we can see here many other broadcasts already created so you can create a broadcast as I showed you at the beginning of this video you can create a broadcast and then you can use that uh, broadcast right so let's say I'm gonna use let's say I can click on here and create a new broadcast test test live for YouTube for YouTube tutorial and then here I'm gonna use the same description the same okay I'll copy that public but I'll go like I want unlisted and then here I'll change to education make sure like this to public no here and then add your thumbnail and then you create the broadcast and you can start streaming or you can just create this broadcast but I'll create this broadcast creating a new live broadcast please wait okay and then I'll click on start streaming and now when I click on this link and I'll refresh test live for YouTube tutorial and is actually streaming software and it's gonna start the broadcast in a couple of seconds and as you can see is live and I've also like have the data here if you have any dropped frames the CPU I can see here drop uh, I can also see here the live chat I can see the live chats uh, and here it's great if you have a different monitor because you can check your live stream your your chat if you want to and then here as you can see is actually working I can click on the live stream live streaming here as you can see I can hear myself the quality is pretty good if I check the quality it looks pretty nice now you know quality looks nice looks pretty good I don't see there's any any problems for now well you might have some drop frames you can you know just test and then see if you have some with the settings that you edit I'll click on stop now if you see that you have any drop frames or any problems you can just change 
Okay, you're not able to reconnect, your stream will stop, and you'll be, you'll need, you will you'll not be longer to be live. So yeah, I'll click on stir. That's how you stop the stream. And as I said, so yeah, if you see that you have any problem, just go back to streaming and change the bitrate, decrease the bitrate, I'll decrease this to 900, let's say. And yeah, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Thanks uh, for watching and subscribe for more tutorials. Take care.